NTT Docomo Zymode is a mobile internet service popular in Japan. Unlike wireless application protocol, iMode encompasses a wider variety of internet standards, including web access, email and the packet switch network that delivers the data. iMode users have access to various services such as email, sports results, weather forecast, games, financial services and ticket booking. Content is provided by specialized services, typically from the mobile carrier, which allows them to have tighter control over billing. Like WAP, iMode delivers only those services that are specifically converted for the service or are converted through gateways. This has placed both systems at a disadvantage against handsets that use real browser software and generally use a flat pricing structure for data. Even iMode's creator, Takeshi Natsuno, has stated, I believe the iPhone is closer to the mobile phone of the future. Compared with the latest Japanese mobile phones, description, in contrast with the wireless application protocol standard, which used wireless markup language on top of a protocol stack for wireless handheld devices, iMode borrows from fixed internet data formats such as a CHTML based on HTML, as well as Docomo proprietary protocols ALP and TLP. iMode phones have a special iMode button for the user to access the start menu. There are more than 12,000 official sites and around 100,000 or more unofficial iMode sites which are not linked to Docomo's iMode portal page in Docomo's billing services. NTT Docomo supervises the content and operations of all official iMode sites, most of which are commercial. These official sites are accessed through Docomo's iMode menu but in many cases official sites can also be accessed from mobile phones by typing the URL or through the use of QR code. An iMode user pays for both sent and received data. There are services to avoid unsolicited emails. The basic monthly charge is typically on the order of JPY 200 yen 300 yen for iMode not including the data transfer charges, with additional charges on a monthly subscription basis for premium services. A variety of discount plans exist, for example family discount and flat packet plans for unlimited transfer of data at a fixed monthly charge. History iMode was launched in Japan on the 22nd of February 1999. The content planning and service design team was led by Mari Matsunaga, while Takeshi Natsuno was responsible for the business development. Top executive Keiichi Eniki oversaw the technical and overall development. A few months after Docomo launched Time Mode in February 1999, Docomo's competitors launched very similar mobile data services. KDDI launched TezWeb, and JPhone launched JSky. Vodafone later acquired JPhone including JSky, renaming the service Vodafone Live, although initially this was different from Vodafone Live, in Europe and other markets. In addition, Vodafone KK was acquired by SoftBank, an operator of Yahoo! Japan in October 2006 and changed the name to SoftBank Mobile. As of June 2006, the mobile data services iMode, Ezweb, and JSky had over 80 million subscribers in Japan. Since 2003, iMode Center is called Circus which consists of 400 NEC NX 7000 HP UX servers and occupies 4,600 square meters floor space in Docomo's Kawasaki office. The operation support system is called Carnival, which is hosted in the Sano Park Tower. Markets Seeing the tremendous success of iMode in Japan, many operators in Europe Asia and Australia sought to license the service through partnership with Docomo. Takeshi Natsuno was behind the expansion of iMode to 17 countries worldwide. 
Kamal Mamria who was a partner with the Boston Consulting Group and who was supporting Mr. Natsuno is also thought to have had a major role in the expansion of the first Japanese service ever outside Japan. IMO showed very fast take-up in the various countries where it was launched which leads to more operators seeking to launch IMO in their markets, with the footprint reaching a total of 17 markets worldwide. While the iMode service was an exceptional service which positioned Docomo as the global leader in value-add services, another key success factor for iMode was the Japanese smartphone makers who developed state-of-the-art handsets to support iMode. As iMode was exported to the rest of the world, Nokia and other major handset vendors who controlled the markets at the time refused at first to support high mode by developing handsets which support the i mode service the operators who decided to launch i mode had to rely on japanese vendors who had no experience in international markets as i mode showed success in these markets some vendors started customizing some of their handsets to support i mode however the support was only partial and came late in time while the service was successful during the first years after launch, the lack of adequate handsets and the emergence of new handsets from new vendors which supported new internet services on one hand, and a change of leadership of iMode in Docomo, lead to a number of operators to migrate or integrate iMode into new mobile internet services. iMode was launched in the following countries, Australia, Belgium, Bulgaria, France, Germany, Greece, Hong Kong, Israel, Ireland, Italy, Netherlands, Russia, Romania, Singapore, Spain, Taiwan, UK, devices. Some typical features include the clamshell model with large displays and in many models, a display on either side. Additionally, the phones have many extra features, e.g., a megapixel digital camera. The displays normally have 65,536 colors but the newest models have as many as 262,144 colors. FOMA SAR 80i, LG KE390i, LG L343i, LG L852i, Mitsubishi M342i, Motorola Razor V3XX with i mode, Motorola SLVRL7 i mode, Motorola SLVRL6 i mode. NEC N22i, NEC N343i, NEC 411i, Nokia N70i mode, Nokia N95i, Nokia 6120 Classic, Nokia 6124 Classic, Samsung S40i, Samsung S50i, Samsung Z320i, Sony Ericsson K550im, Sony Ericsson K610im, Fujitsu F905i, 